The Kingston Canadian Film Festival will be entering its 21st year, and it will, of course, be virtual this year. It gets underway on Friday. And one of the marquee films is Drifting Snow, starring Sonia Smith, who joins us virtually. Good morning. Nice to meet you virtually. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> now, you've got a busy acting career, but you're in the wine business too, right? You bet. <laughs> yeah. Is it Clossum Chase Winery in Prince Edward yeah. County? In, I was in Sebra County, and it's been a quite, a, quite, quite an interesting ride. <laughs> well, I was checking out some pictures uh, online. Is I got to visit. It's a beautiful place. The big purple barn. I love it. Yeah, it is gorgeous, and it's been really cool being a part of the growth of that. When we started, there were just three. We were about the third winery, and now there's about 50, and people are really enjoying coming down and enjoying themselves because it's a beautiful area. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And you doing okay during the pandemic uh, online? Oh, as best as we all can be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're busy acting as well, so let's talk about your uh, latest movie, Drifting Snow. You didn't have to travel far for this. Uh, actually, it was shot close to home, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us the story of Drifting Snow. Well, it's, it's, it's quite interesting because, in a way, it's, it really is almost like just being with people at a time of sort of change in their lives, which I think a lot of us can relate to. Uh, the one character, the male character, is is his mother has died and he's kind of has to kind of figure out what to do with her home, but also with his girlfriend. Where does he go? With does he stay in the country? Does he go back to the city? How does he pursue things? And with my character, her husband has died about a year before. Kind of go back and forth. And so she's at a time of change too, of being alone in her life uh, for the first time and, and how how does she deal with that? What choices is she gonna make? And they come together in a car accident. They get in a car accident and they end up coming together and traveling together. So it's sort right. of a bit of a road film too. Yeah, yeah. so so the inspiration was um, a familiar sight in Canada, winter hazard, drifting mm -hmm. snow. Uh, but as, yeah, as you mentioned, it's a road trip movie, but not a typical one. Yes, yeah. And, uh, and so they're sort of forced together in an enclosed space at a time of, 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 of just change in their lives. But really, I think in many ways, it, it, it's, it's a very kind of lyrical film. It's not necessarily that, okay, this major events happen, but it's just sort of sitting with people. And actually, the landscape is a big part of it, you know, uh, uh, traveling around Prince Edward County and up, up uh, in, in the winter, through small towns and through, through roads with drifting snow, literally, and that, that sense that a lot of Canadians can relate to of, of the weather and the landscape impacting your life, right? And, yeah, and we'll recognize a lot of those locations. Now, uh, the writer and director, Ryan Knopf, um, said that you actually, he credited you with bringing a, a great cast together, uh, Linda Gorenson, and also Colin Mockery plays your husband. So how did you pitch the project to them? Well, I, I, with, with them, I just said, it's, it's, uh, it's Ryan's first uh, feature. And I just said, there's something, and, and I just really like him as a, as a filmmaker, as a person. And his partner at the time, Tess, was a cinematographer. It was a small, kind of intimate uh, project. And it just had something just of a very uh, human kind of quality to it. And when they said, okay, we need your husband, we need someone to play your husband. And I immediately, funnily enough, thought of Colin, because everybody knows him, Colin Mockery, as, as a comedic actor. But there's something very sort of soulful about him. And just in thinking about that, I thought, well, if it's someone I'm sort of haunted by a loss of, there's something beautiful and soulful about Colin. And Linda, I've always admired since she, you know, was in an Oscar-nominated film years ago, you know? So, yeah. And just, there's some wonderful actors in, in, in our country, and it uh, was lovely that they said yes to this small project, you know? Yes. Well, Ryan was also saying that you're very good at improvisation and working in the cold. Are you going to put that in your resume? <laughs> Can work no. in freezing temperatures. No, I hate waiting and waking, uh, working in the cold. Are you kidding? In fact, I said to Ryan, the, the two things, it's kind of a lot of stuff in cars, and it's frigging January, and in, in, and the movie's called Drifting Snow. I said, 
I want to be safe and I don't want to be cold. But we had, <laughs> Wrong we movie. We had like minus 30 when Colin came in. To, we shot in the, in the garden house and we, when we went in there, they weren't going to shut down the airport. And then Colin and I are supposed to be doing scenes outside. It's like, Oh my gosh, ah! that's, that's brutal. But, Okay, call yeah. your agent. No more drifting snow gigs. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we got to plug the movie. So the Kingston Film Festival, um, yeah. your movie will premiere March 2nd online mm -hmm. at 7 mm -hmm. o'clock. We'll link up the website so people can check it out. And we hope uh, to uh, talk to you about your next project. So great, again, to uh, meet you. Sonia Smith, okay. and thanks for joining us this morning. Take care. Thank you.